And then he took out all these keys out of his robe, just pulled them out. And as he pulled them out, you can see the, the scar where the, the, the nails were kind of like in the wrist area and it kind of pulled the bones apart. It's kind of traumatic looking. And he had these keys and the keys were odd shapes and design. And he opened up a, he walked over to a place and he opened, stuck this key into this, looked like a, a gate. And a door opened. Then the veil came over and it was dark again. I couldn't see it. All I could see was the Lord. And I was being moved toward this door and I went through the, that door into a void. I mean, a, a tornado vortex. It was just going round and round. It was a tunnel spinning horrendously around, just roaring and roaring and spinning and spinning and spinning. And it smelled horrible. I could hear these screeches and noises and sirens. The most thing I remember the most was slurping noises and, and um, screams. And I could feel um, heat, really hot heat. The next thing you know, I was falling through the sky. And it looked like the sky, and I hit the ground. You know, it kind of hurt, and I stood up, and I, and I looked, and I go, where am I? All these people ran out, and some of them looked like people that were dead that I knew, and other people I knew that were not dead. And they come around me, slapping me on the back. I said, they got there awful quick because the house looked far away, but all of a sudden they were there, slapping me on the back, welcoming me there. But something just wasn't quite right with them because they looked weird. They had yellow glints in their eye, and their eyes were almost uh, reptile-like. I looked over and I saw what looked like my best friend turn into somebody else. And I, and I said, hey, wait a minute, you can't do that. This is, this, you're not who you say you are. Who are you? And then all of a sudden I looked around and I go, all these things that, all these people around me are not people. They begin to morph into what they were. They were ugliest creatures I've ever seen. Yeah, Tile like some of them, oh, they were just god awful, like rotting vegetables and they were distorted and twisted and then they were not perfect by no means and they're just filthy, smelly creatures. And they were just starting to come at me like they're gonna shred me to pieces. And they start, to, one tried to grab me right across my chest, and one tried to grab my legs. And while they're trying to tear you to pieces, they backed away, and this one that looked like my best friend earlier who morphed into different people came up to me. It was a little, it was about four eight, looked like a, sort of half dinosaur, uh, a reptilian type creature, and it was hissing and spitting at me, and, and uh, was speaking in language that I couldn't, qu I didn't know what it was saying at first. And I was telling, and it was broken in English, it was telling me to come follow it, follow it, follow it. So he motioned to me, and we took a few steps, and all of a sudden we were at the end of the horizon. Now, that doesn't make any sense, but we came across to what looked like the end of the horizon. You couldn't go any further, and I couldn't understand what it was. And yet I could look out, and I could see all this vast fields and mountains. And, and then he stuck, that creature stuck its hand in this horizon, and he ripped it open like a veil, and he stepped out of it, up on to this road, and he telling me to come motioning me to come so I did the same I just went ahead I got out and next thing I knew I was on a large wide dusty flat road I just came out of a cell a cube it was either it was around 10 by 10 foot square it could have been 14 by 14 that's what the dimensions were and and there was a cell next to it next to it and there was a cells above it kind of set back concave so they're going up and there were six of them to the roof of the uh, of, of this place and in the walls are embedded peoples in cells 